Paul, uh, is, it, is it true that you and Jerry are going to work now, of course? You're ready uh, Yeah, to... I just came back. I was outside mining the camels. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to Paul. Oh, I beg your pardon. <laughs> Did you see the makeup man put some powder on my nose so I wouldn't shine? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello? How come it don't get louder when I get here? Hello? <laughs> Is it true that Jerry's never caught short for an answer, Paul? Uh, yes, that's what they say, not wood. <laughs> hey, watch it, Buster. I'll make you move your lips from the outside. <laughs> well, now that you're both formed up, let's take a look at the cool world of jazz as seen through the eyes of a New Jerseyite who prefers to keep his comedy writing anonymous, is his name. Oh, Paul and Jerry. Oh. Oh. I gotta get into the character. I gotta get into the character. All right, here, I'll get you right into the character. Uh, who did you say wrote this, uh, uh, Hal? Anonymous. Anonymous, huh? <laughs> I think after that line, you would too. Never mind, I'm getting. All right, you're all in character now, all right? <clears throat> okay. I hope we've got a lot of hipsters out here. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we're going to look into the world of jazz. My name is Walter Granby, and right now I'm at the fabulous Downbeat Club in Chicago, where I'm about to interview the leader of the orchestra. Let's all welcome Big Daddy Cool. <clears throat> well, Big Daddy, it certainly is a pleasure. Shh, not now, not now, while the band is playing. Bigger, man. Aren't they cool? That's not the band, that's the air conditioning. <laughs> oh, dig it, ain't it cool? <clears throat> How many men do you have in your band? You mean playing or resting? I mean living. <laughs> How soon you need to know? <laughs> Would you say wrote this? Never mind. <laughs> he didn't send his name. Now I know why. Never mind. <laughs> well, look, yeah, is it true that you switched from a piccolo to a tuba? Uh, yeah, man. Well, what made you pick the tuba? Economics. Economics? Why did that play a factor in your picking the tuba? Well, we were playing a concert for some millionaire cat. He dug the band so much that all night long he kept throwing $20 gold pieces into the instrument. Yeah. And there I was with that rotten piccolo. <laughs> I could still knock off a couple of riffs. <laughs> Man, ain't that a gotcha? <laughs> well, look, tell me, Big Daddy, uh, in your opinion, is it true that most great artists are appreciated only after they're gone? No, oh, man, no. I mean, I've been gone for years, you know. <laughs> I don't know. You don't seem to understand. What I mean is, take Stephen Foster. Oh, must I? <laughs> what, I'm, what I'm trying to get to is, do you know that he actually sold his song Swanee River for $25? Well, Jim, I think you did a pretty good deal. I mean, I wouldn't have given them two cents to the thing, man. I don't think I'm reaching you at all, Daddy Cool. When you realize that Edgar Allan Poe, when he died, is Ed gone? <laughs> oh, man, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, man, I didn't hear. I've been on the road so much, out of touch, you know. <laughs> no, what I mean to say is, when Edgar Allan Poe died, he died in poverty. He died in poverty? Uh-huh. <laughs> Last I heard, he was working in Detroit. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but that's road work. You never know where you're going to get it. Edgar Allan Poe. My favorite trio. <laughs> oh, brother. Look, uh, uh, thanks for the interview, but one thing more before we go. Uh, would you enlighten our viewers by explaining some technical musical terms? Uh, 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 like, like what? Well, like, uh, tell us what uh, Allegro Matarato means. What? Allegro Matarato. Oh, kiss me. Oh, stop. <laughs> Do you, can you tell us what Allegro Matarato means? Allegro Matarato. Well, uh, let's take the word apart. All right. A leg. That's what you stand on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Row. That's fish eggs. Mother. That's your mother. An auto, that's a car. So allegro moderato means stand on fish eggs in your mother's car. Oh, I know. Oh, oh, thank you, Shecky. Thank you. I'm going to take off the ouch, watch the paint. Uh, at the beginning, yes, but uh, towards the end, uh, I thought it was uh, pretty funny. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. not definite, though. <laughs> I 
think he ought to try out his own material pipe. That would be funny, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, you can always do this when you get stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was one of our best routines on the show. I no. really enjoyed it that much. Thank you, Shanky. Got a great... <laughs> Uh, you're not looking for a new partner or something, are you? Yeah, I'll travel with Let you. Let me see how I fit over here. Go ahead. What's my... I, got a bigger, I got a bigger laugh than Paul. Yeah, it's soft, too. Hey, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I got a brother at home. Do we work him the same way? No kidding. <laughs> he's, got, he's, got a, he's got a string in his head. <laughs> Go to the side of his neck. Oh, well, I'm a dummy. What's his excuse? Oh, come on. No, stop. I'll work this way tonight, but will you turn around? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Please, we're trying to talk. Will you be quiet? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do, do you think...